Yo, what is up guys? So for today, I'm going to bring you another Destiny 1 video. And this one specifically is one of my favorite raids in Destiny. And I know people are like, oh, Atheon's the best, or Crota's the best, or... No, actually, I don't hear Crota, but I hear Oryx is the best, or... That's it, actually. But in my opinion, for me at least, Crota was my favorite. I'm not saying it was the best, it was my favorite. Mostly because it was probably my first time raiding within Destiny. I started raiding in in the second or in the first dlc which is uh the dark below that was the first time i ever started raiding because before that i didn't raid in vanilla destiny because i didn't know anyone like i was strictly a solo player and i didn't go into the forums because i didn't even know that was a thing so i strictly played by myself and I did a few things here and there but mo most of the time the way I ended up getting into being a fake level 20 I think what is what it was called whatever was I ended up getting all all uh armor from like the nightfall or something it was it was something that I can get pinnacle armor and then the last piece I needed was I think a uh, iron banner like I said, my, my memory is a little fuzzy, but that's I, I'm pretty sure that's how it, it works. Cause I know I didn't run Atheon until like psh, until Dark Below because that's when I met my friends, and then I told them like, yeah, I never ran Atheon. I didn't know anyone, and they're like, well, we need to run it, and then we ran it, and it was awesome. I loved it. It was cool, but like for me at least, Crota was more fun, and not only that, but it was. This is the first time I raided with my friends. It was the first time I I got to know them, so it it holds more of a, a special meaning to me than the than just being like, oh, it's the best. Because if I'm being serious, Oryx, hands down, Oryx is the best raid. Let's be real. Like Atheon's cool, but let's 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 be real. Oryx was dope as fuck, bro. Oh my god, I wish I had footage so I can show you guys, but like it was so dope. So. This video is honestly me just gush gushing over like year one Destiny because it was honestly the, the most fun I've ever had in Destiny. Like, uh, Dark Below, uh, House of Wolves, and then TDK, Taken King, and then like all of Destiny 1, sh I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Destiny 1 had its ups and downs for fucking sure. Dark Below and uh, I just said the name of it. House of Wolves, especially House of Wolves, uh, was kind of like whatever's. Although House of Wolves, if I remember correctly, uh, got, gave us trials, so there is that. But everything before the Taken King was just kind of like eh, whatever. Especially the House of Wolves. I remember from if I remember correctly, House of Wolves was really weak. Like there was no raid. It was only like a horde type thing, which was like round based. Like looking back now, it was fun. Like. I did have a lot of fun, but it was just more like we didn't have a raid and I wanted to do a raid. But once Taken King came, dog, it was just up uphill from there. Like, I don't think we ever went downhill from there because we ended up getting what, the April update during the Taken King, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments below. But I'll, honestly, I don't have a great, like, I don't have the perfect memory. Not only that, but I don't want to re research this shit right now. I want to talk like from my heart, like for what I for what I felt when in Destiny One. But I remember like one of my one of the coolest memories I have is like doing Oryx with my friends, and they always give me shit for this. But I remember when I first saw Oryx, I screamed a little. I was like, "Oh shit!" and I, okay, I screamed like a bitch, and they were like, "Oh wow!" And to this day, they still never let, let it live, like let me live it down. And that's like one of the things that I really enjoy is the fact that like we have that like camaraderie, we have that like memory of like me doing that, and then like that's that's what I miss in Destiny 2. That's what I that's what I don't have in Destiny 2. I don't have that like moment of like oh shit we did it or like raid moments or stuff like that because I don't feel connected to the raids, especially like especially the Destiny vanilla raid, Leviathan the other two that I don't remember. I will say the last wish, uh, actually the raids after, or yeah, after Forsaken were fire. I remember a few moments, but not as many as like Oryx or Crota or Atheon. Like I really don't. 
and it's a, it's a shame because I think a lot of the raids are really good. I do have a lot of memories with Last Wish because that shit was fucking fire and it was hard as fuck. But I don't have as many with the the Wrath of the Machine. I think it's, no, that's the from Destiny One. Wrath of the Machine, yeah. Scourge of the Past. There we go. Yeah, I don't have that many memories with Scourge of the Past, and I don't have that many memories with the. Uh, yeah, it's just slowly been going down. I'm not saying the the quality of the raids have been going down, but it's just it's probably just because me my friends are like you just they just kind of gave up. Not everyone, mind you. I do have like three or two friends that still play it, but I don't have like the seven or eight friends that I that play it anymore. I only have three or two. I still talk to everyone, but it's just it's. It sucks seeing your friends kind of lose interest in a game that you still love. So that's why I don't do the raid in, or do the raid anymore. That's why I don't do any pinnacle shit anymore because I don't really don't really care to find new people to do it with. I probably do the raid with randos with a friend of mine, but other than that, that's pretty much it. So honestly, I had no agenda with this video. I just wanted to talk about Destiny One because ultimately I miss Destiny One and I don't want to play Destiny Two. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about Destiny 1, if you guys were there for it. Uh, I have a lot of fond memories with Destiny 1. As flawed as it was, it was great at times. And when it was great, it was truly fucking great. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about everything I just talked about. Thank you all for the continued support and everything. Not only that, but it just really means a lot to me, man. Like, when people like or subscribe, it just kind of verifies that. Like, hey, maybe I'm not this piece of shit that I think I am. So thank you all. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. And other than that, I will see you guys later. Enjoy the video. And I don't complete the raid. I just complete the first stage. That's it. But enjoy.